Hi, I'm Shobhan. Welcome to my Corel Video Studio Pro X2 Tutorials Part 10. In the previous nine parts, I have actually shown you how to use the software uh, to do things, to edit your videos. Uh, in this part, I will refer you to my website which completes the tutorial series. I started the video tutorials, I did nine tutorials and those were pretty difficult for me uh, showing the things how to do and at the same time operating the camera is pretty difficult. It was a single-handed project and I just cannot do it anymore. It's too strenuous. But I felt the tutorials remained incomplete because there were other things to be covered. So I started a website in which I covered rest of the other things that were not covered in the video tutorials. And they, those are written tutorials with actual screenshots from Corel. And that site of course has the original nine video tutorials. So that site is much more complete. It has all the nine video tutorials that I already have in YouTube plus written tutorials. So I will introduce you to that site today and this is the purpose of this tutorial. Okay, let me begin by giving you the URL of my website. It is http colon double slash bestnetguru.com slash movie making again the address is bestnetguru.com slash movie making okay this is the first page of my website the title of the site is home movie making tutorials for beginners video editing with Corel Video Studio Pro X2 and the first page of the home page is basically introduction to the site and you will get the menu options on this page on the left hand side I'll show you okay so on the left hand side of this first page you will see the contents or the menu I have actually 10 pages on this site uh, the first page is of course the home page of the introduction and then the pages are named like tutorial page 1, tutorials page 2, tutorials page 3, examples, useful tips, chroma key, DVD burning, painting creator and slideshow. Okay, for ease of use, I have included a brief summary of about what each page contains. For example, if you look under tutorial page 1, it will say what this page contains. Similarly, for page 2, page 3 and all other pages, there is a brief summary of the contents of the page. So you know which page you want to go to if you are looking for a particular reference. I'll very quickly show you the different pages so you get an idea of what is this website like and whether it is going to be useful for you or not. So this is the first tutorials page and this is how it looks. Uh, basically this page will have uh, this page will have the first three of my video tutorials that are already in YouTube. That's tutorial one then tutorial 2, tutorial 3 and this is followed by that is the unique thing of this website there are more discussions about different topics and some elaboration about the tutorials that I did not discuss in the video tutorial you will see notes uh, in each page for example right here it says how to download video clips from camcorder to your computer a lot of people ask me that question then it follows how to trim a video clip and I have included uh, actual screenshots from Corel 
then uh, discussion about audio fade in, fade out and volume control and similar things, other buttons in the option panel and so forth. Then coming to video tutorial page 2, again I have the 4th, 5th and 6th tutorials that are in YouTube in this page. As you can see, this is tutorial number 6 and then it follows by some explanation or more elaboration on some topics. Here it says a little more explanation on transition effects. I have also uh, discussed what is title safe area. A lot of people emailed me wanting to know what is a title safe area and how to do that. So I have discussed a little bit about that and included a screenshot from Corel. This is video tutorials page 3. Again this has the last three tutorials that is. So here is tutorial number 7 followed by tutorial number 8 then tutorial number 9 and then I have little discussion about uh, a uh, little more detailed instructions on creating a video file and uploading your video to YouTube. That's one of the questions a lot of people ask me. They're, they're uploading fails and how to do it. People are not sure they're uh, trying to upload a VSP file or Video Studio project file. They have no idea that they have to create a video file first and so forth. Okay, in the next page I have given some examples of video editing, uh, what can be done with the raw videos, how to make it look nicer, how to create some stunts and that kind of thing. So I, I have included three videos on this page too. Uh, the first one that is example one um, shows how to create some special effects. Then it is followed by how to create special effects using the painting creator. And lastly, my favorite subject, uh, creating magic with chroma key or chroma key magic created with Corel Video Studio. Uh, that's my favorite topic though. In the next page I have given some tips for making better home movies. Basically what to do and what not to do uh, to make your home movie more interesting and not boring. In this page I have also included some uh, very basic discussion about copyright issues uh, particularly when you are using music in your video most people usually just upload a copyrighted music from a CD. They have no idea what a copyright um, law is and they think, uh, come on, it's my personal home movie, it's not commercial. So I have given a little bit idea about what is copyright law and what Google or YouTube can do with your video if you are using somebody else's music in your video without permission or written approval Google can uh, Google means YouTube can actually um, delete your video altogether they can take it down or in most cases they do not take it down they actually mute your video so you end up getting a silent video I have given in this page some ideas about how to overcome this problem and let me see I have given some ideas general ideas about what can be done and then I have included uh, about Google's own solution audio swap right here is some um, um, explanation about what audio swap what is audio swap how to do it and uh, what you can expect from audio swap so if you have no idea please read these things it's good to know okay we are probably running out of time so i shall be very quick about the next pages 
the next page after the useful tips page is chroma key tutorial this i have not covered at all in my video tutorials i have written a detailed account of how to create chroma key effects in your videos and what equipment can make your chroma key effects better and how to buy those equipment economically so let me just quickly show you how the page looks like that's the chroma key tutorial page and i have oh i wish i was near this half naked dancing women i like that picture and then that's my picture that i used to create the chroma key effect and that's the final effect as if i was there and these are the screenshots of the various steps involved to create the chroma key effect so that's the chroma key page and there are some uh, more written instructions elaborations tips etc on the same page and these are the equipments that can be bought for cheap or at the economical price i buy from ebay i do have these lighting sets lighting is most important to make a realistic chroma key effect in your video and lighting can be very expensive but i have bought it for cheap and i have given you suggestions how to do it from ebay and that's the my chroma key green screen you can use blue screen but i use green screen and that is my green screen set uh, hoisted up right in my living room <laughs> and that's about it for chroma key next page is uh, dvd burning tutorial how to use corel video studio pro x2 to may burn a dvd and create menus and special effects on it etc that's how the page looks like i'll give you just a quick rundown the different shots and all that these are screenshots that you will see actually if you use corel video studio to burn dvds the next page is painting creator tutorial these are all written tutorials these were not in my video tutorials and i have described in detail how to use the painting creator uh, in this page and that's how this uh, page web page looks like that's the thing i used to draw um, um, on the screen to make digital writings and stuff writing with the mouse is very difficult actually and these are the different screenshots so that page is about using the painting creator and the last page is about slide show tutorial how to use corel video studio pro x2 to create a completely automated slideshow pretty appealing but totally automated you really don't have to do much except to put your selected photos or slides which you want to use in the slideshow and corel does the rest let me just show you how the page looks like this is the slideshow tutorial page you begin with the movie wizard and whatever steps are involved everything is described in details i have taken time and i have taken pains to give all the possible details and include all the actual screenshots i hope this page will help you those who are complete beginners um, while creating these pages i had complete beginners in mind those of you who already know you don't need to consult my tutorials or you don't need to go to my website but it is actually for all beginners so that's about it thank you for watching and please remember the address of my website it is bestnetguru.com slash movie making bestnetguru.com slash movie making